give to God by enjoying what he has given me, okay? I mean, do you really think he expects something back? Now, I know there's a lot of people at church that would not understand this line of reasoning. That's why, just to make things simple and not to cause any controversy, I like to carry what I call the little empty envelope, all right? You see, when the plate gets passed, I bloop, put it in there like that. The deacon's counting the money. They only know me as the crazy empty envelope guy, but the people sitting around me, clueless. <laughs> I win, they win, God wins. No one gets hurt because no one knows. God knows. Huh? Let me ask you a question, huh? How's your mutual fund? Hey, for that matter, how's all your funds? Ha has the fun left your funds, huh? Has your dole me taken a W-A-L-K, huh? <laughs> what if I told you that I knew about an investment you could make that the return would be mind-boggling? And, 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 and it's promised, it's guaranteed. I know what you're saying, there's no guarantees. This one's guaranteed, okay? Malachi 3.10, so it says in the Old Testament, it says, test me, give to God, and he will give you back. It goes like this, I give this, he gives this. I give this, he gives this. I give this, up right up there. He keeps giving. I can't outgive God. How crazy is that? <laughs> Do I love him? Sure, whatever. I'm just saying, if you give, he gives back. <laughs> I tithe, but just not like in the form of a 10% check per se. Let me tell you what I mean. When I go to church on a Sunday morning, they're selling donuts, I buy some, boom, that's a tithe. When my whole Sunday school class wants donuts and I, out of the goodness of my heart, buy a whole bunch for the Sunday school class, boom, that's another tithe. But it's not about me spending money. It's about the smile on people's faces. That, my friends, is tithe enough for me. Case in point, the church was having date nights where we could take our spouse out for an evening and they were charging $25 for child care. Boom shakalaka tithe. I'll tell you what the biggest tithe was. When I spent over $100 on our meal and my wife was grinning ear to ear, that, my friend's a tithe. I, I would like to give, I would, okay? But everything right now is just crazy. I mean, just crazy, you know? I mean, not normal crazy, really crazy, you know? And if after I paid my bills and took care of the things that I need and want, then I would, I would consider giving something, but not now is crazy. We're, we're, we're gonna give later. We've already talked about it. I mean, down the road, we'll be crazy givers, but right now is just crazy. Yeah, I have money, that's a fact. But you know what, it's a hard thing between me and the Lord and the pastor because he needs to know what I'm giving now that we have this little building campaign going on, if you know what I'm saying. And pastor, I'd give a little bit more, I'd give a little something, something if you'd have that music minister sing a couple more hymns now and then, huh? Hey, what's this, watch this. Is that a Benjamin? I think it is. Benji likes hymns, come on, you want it? Ah, come on, pastor, do what I say, huh? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, in my life, Lord, be glorified in me. I put money in the plate. Wait, 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 look what I have here. I hope it doesn't interfere. But that everyone can hear how I give with cheer That everyone could be loved